Motion City soundtrack was a concert I went to at the start of my senior year of high school. And it was the first concert I went to with, like, friends that weren't my family, my cousin, and, like, my one childhood friend who came to a couple concerts with me. Like, this was... I actually went with other people. That's just more of a fun fact. I don't know how to judge that uh, myself, but I love Motion City Soundtrack. And I actually like this t-shirt, even though, again, I think I got a large instead. Um, this might also be a medium. I don't know. I don't know. But man, I did love, I did love this shirt for a while. It only took me this long. It only took me until two, excuse me. It only took me until 2008 to get a shirt that fit me. And you know what? I almost never wore this shirt because I didn't think it fit me. I needed my extra large black shirts and this was a tight yellow shirt. Um, I actually got, I think I mistakenly got the smaller. They only had like one of these sizes left and I got a small t-shirt. And hell, I'm, I'm really liking this one. Um, I also lied to you about the Motion City soundtrack. There was a girl talk show I went to, the one before I got this t-shirt that I went to with friends. It was still the end of junior year of high school. It was not far away. But, uh, damn, I like this shirt. Girl Talk I ended up seeing like three times, and this starts me repeat, repeat attending concerts of bands that I like. Mind the Self-Indulgence was first, Girl Talk was second. So this is a really weird fitting t-shirt. Um, this is Squirrel Nut Zippers, which I think if I remember correctly, was the first concert I went to with my wife, my now wife, my girlfriend then. Um, it was in a blizzard. There was like 30 people at the show, including a group of five of us who went, and it was, <laughs> it was really weird. Um, and this shirt, like, it is so big in the sleeve and on the side and it feels so short here. It's really weird. I hated this shirt. Hated it. Hated it. I still don't like it. That was a weird show. Connor Oberst and the Mystic Valley Band. Carly, my then girlfriend, now wife, bought the shirt with the date on it, like it was like, there was like 10 shirts made or some bullshit, and she bought that one. And I only liked this design, so even though it is a, a closer to present time band that I still really enjoy, um, I still opted for a large, large, large t-shirt. Um, it's pretty comfortable. I might, uh, I might keep this one out too. Who knows? And this is how we go out. 2010. I'm in college. I'm a sophomore in the fall. And I see Matt and Kim. I really don't know if you could ever read this. Sh I, I have only ever really seen this shirt from here, from the, my angle. I don't know if it, you can read that it says Matt and Kim. I didn't wear this shirt all that often. Uh, I retired that one pretty soon after because it was a white t-shirt and it still made me uncomfortable. But here was Matt and Kim. Saw them at the West Cop Theater in Syracuse, New York. And those were the first 10 years of my concert t-shirts. My style and my purchases changed very drastically after 2010. So these first 10 years were a real doozy. I appreciate you watching this and going through these with me. Hopefully we can go back out soon and watch some concerts 
and maybe I'll get a t-shirt or a sweatband. Who's to say? I'll see you out there. That was horrible. <laughs>